Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you start using the real money. Before we cover some other auto trades, I want to highlight uh, this one here now is the end of the day is finished. Uh, the market analyzer and if we look here there is a market analyzer this one here include five automated trade based on the pullback re-entry fibs and uh, and the trading stops uh, based on florin fibs today on the other channel live uh, we nailed $7,000 on that trade on the Nasdaq by itself right now this market analyzer is based on one contract at the moment now uh, we uh, this is the total of last entry signal not the whole day the last entry signal is 616 ticks you don't have to trade all of them uh, you can trade ES Nasdaq down zones on the last entry from the ES is 72 ticks based on one contract, 371 ticks based on one contract on the NASDAQ, and the YM is 79 ticks based on one contract. This is based on one minute. On the uh, scalper, the scalper is uh, a 15 second if you don't know how it looked like the 15 second but this is uh, we can take if we have some other trades and this is a base on a 15 second chart and that you can combine those two to also if you wanted to uh, find an early exit or an early entry on a long or short we have 60, 672 ticks based on the last entry signal. As an example here, the gold, let's look at the gold. The gold is uh, right now only five ticks into the profit. Here is your entry, your target, and $60 based on one contract and two contracts is just uh, close the trade. So, um, so this the scalper it is very good especially early in the morning because once the scalper start uh, catching a trend uh, the automated trade have uh, the very unique feature which we will show or you can look at the link at the bottom of this video where the target extends itself if the market is trending so right now as you see we got the new signal on the 30-year treasury bond and and uh, as you we look let's say on the one minute it's already exceeded the target and target hit at 81 takes target hit on the nasdaq at 438 takes a base on one contract so this is something um, uh, it is for a trader he can combine the auto trade and he can manage the auto trade if he wants to uh, not everyone like to auto trade and close their eyes there is some traders like to be uh, um, involved in the trade trade or they wanted to um maybe extend the target like now here we already hit the target and uh, as you see is a blinking that's mean there is a buying power coming in and i don't want to distract my eye from the bar uh, i wanted to uh with a corner of your eye understand that it's buyers jumping even when we achieve the target once the market achieved the target there is two optional in here the auto trader closed the trade and if you can build a little more experience you can use the target for reversal because we achieved the target all of it is automatic 
So there is a five automated trade based on a pullback, re-entry, ATM, ATM strategy. So there is five auto trades. It comes in conjunction with the market analyzer to take the trades for you and trail stop based on fibs, not on a dummy uh, trailing stop. So now we're gonna jump to different type of an auto trade called the precision auto trade. Uh, before I uh, I continue with the uh, precision auto trade, I want to talk to my members that uh, now this trade just closed now, and uh, we we did and. Um, we cover on Monday how you can take advantage on a 30 range wild trade, a huge trade, and how you can avoid a lot of noises in the market based on the swing trading. Out of 15 auto trades we have, we have one special entry. The bar colors here is not a stupid ATR, a dummy ATR based on moving average. If we want to examine the bars, if you notice, on an ATR, there is only two elements, plus or minus, which you are missing one wheel in the market. Because the market it cannot be, as what I said yesterday, plus and minus. There is something called sideways. So when there is one element missing, so you are a handicap when you are auto trading, and another guy have the three elements, let's say if you want to trade bar colors. He has much, much more advanced than you are as an auto trader. His auto trade is going to smoke your trade. His auto trade is going to hold the trade when the market is sideways, where when your auto trade, if it's based on an ATR, is it just a dummy move and average, is gonna fall into the trap with the institutional sometimes they're trying to lower you to take a trade when there is no trade. So if we look where is this yellow here, it's, it's on the same level in conjunction with the fib lines and what does this auto trade? Because I have seen someone try to copy us on a 30 range. And what they did, they have 500 ticks of stop loss on, on, on an ES. 500 ticks of stop loss, that is, you're wiping up that trader on one losing trade. He's totally out of the market. He lose all his money. If you notice here, it's not the PNL we're talking about. When the auto trade is taking a trade and there is sideway market, this is not based on a stop loss because let's say on 30 range, on a dummy auto trade you require on 30 range to put 50 ticks on an ES, 500 ticks on the NASDAQ. And that is crazy for a poor guy who has no experience to put him on that trap or if you have $5,000, it takes two losing trade to lose all his money. When you want to think about swing trading, is the, the cost efficiency in there. Why? If you notice here, there is only a few ticks because once those price level get interrupt, the auto trade immediately shut off that trade and try to chase the new trend. In any given time, any given day, from now till the last day you trade, the market face trade and trend, sideways, volatility, call it whatever you want. There is many, many different elements come in in those eight hours trading. Many things comes in. Lunch hours, after lunch, before lunch, last two hours. Monday is one thing. Tuesday is something else. 
Wednesday is something else. There is always, you have to understand how to split your timing and what day you are trading and how to approach the market. The key secret with auto trading, when you are trying to get a big swing trading and you have a very expensive stop loss, and let's say this market is sideways because of a data coming on CL or the feds are talking and the trader was unaware or today there is not much going on. The same story happened around the Christmas time. We're going to face that in the summer when the, when the kids are out of school and there is no volume in the market. Or it could be just a sideways market today on Monday, normal Mondays. The trick here in order to survive in the market at low cost until we can reach or grab the trend. And this is where you close and run. So the thing is nobody knows. Nobody knows when the market spikes. Normally the market spikes once a day. This is on a normal days. And sometimes the market spikes at 925 before the market is open or 915 or 935 or 1015 or maybe 11 o'clock. So if we are activating this auto trade at 930 and there is no spikes in the market, it's just volatility and trying with a big stop loss on a bigger time frame as this one here. And the market has not trended. This poor guy with 500 ticks of stop loss or 200 ticks on an ES stop loss risk $5,000 because I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that. Risk $5,000 to get a target 350 a day. You, uh, this is I never seen that in my last 27 years, and that is gonna put that poor trader out of business within two days because you cannot avoid losing trades. You cannot. The secret with auto trading is surviving until we catch the trend when you are approaching bigger time frame, and the entry has to be specific not any dummy indicator with moving average. It has to do the calculation when there is movement, the moment, momentum in the market start going against you. The auto trade has to shut down immediately and trying to chase a new trade in conjunction with the small signals separate the auto trade to guide the auto trader that you are right now, you are going or reaching out to certain place where you need to reconsider closing your trade or you can let the auto trade take action. So in the meantime, while we are auto trading, I have put on that chart another calculation system where any beginners can read it. As you see here, when we were down and took that trade, you had a new signal here, it says long, has nothing to do with the, we have a different auto trade for those signals. But I, this is another story. I mean, we cannot cover all the auto trades we have, but we have a different auto trade for that. So if you notice here, the auto trade shut it down. It's like you didn't like that trade. Let's simplify it. Didn't like the trade. It was shut down immediately. The warning of the short trade was finished and the start the warning sign telling you to go long, go long. And then the auto trade start taking the trade. You see, let me show you something. This is the last trade for today on the NASDAQ uh, based on because I was covering the uh, the signal from that system here. NASDAQ 50 uh, uh, base on 15 second uh, 57 
and this one here took that trade based on two contract and this is the last of the day i want you to see when this market came into the target if there is more beef to that trade the target extends automatically on that one here so you see uh, this is the new one we have remodified and um, and uh, and uh, and uh, this is the last trade for today on the Nasdaq. So let me go back to this one here. Put this one on the side, and you get the warning with it. The auto trader did not like that trade. He dismissed it. So those signal you can take them manually if you want to. Or you can have the auto trade taken him, and then he cuts it right there. And this is the second round for today. I'm not gonna tell you how much it made because you can see it on the other channel what the Nasdaq did. I don't like to say any numbers if I don't have anything to show, but on the morning run you can see it from the other side on the other channel, and then. It's not a dummy auto trade based on the pullback support area we took that trade and start giving you warning sell you dismiss that because it was far from the trend anyway and there is nothing to support that sell but then at the end they start giving you warning sell 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 so for a guy is taking a ride here, this is here around five thousand, six thousand dollar. If you don't wanna close it, because this is very important when the the, the chart start giving you warning, and it is up to this trader to go on the top of the chart and say close position. I'm happy camper for what I got, whether it's ten dollars or one thousand. We're not talking about P and L here. And uh, whether it's a thousand dollar, one hundred dollars, doesn't matter. This is where, if you say I'm a happy camper, and those warning sign in conjunction with the fib line, the fib line is not really blocking your view; it's just information for you, is telling you where is really. You are going to through turbulence in the market if you want to cut what you want and then move over with that so this is what we have covered on monday webinar and uh, we have explained the technical side from that on monday and uh, we have some people they have already start working on this they start comprehend uh, the magnitude of accuracy the entry and then let the system when he find this market goes on neutral this mean it's a switch in trend let it close down as soon as possible and now if he dismiss that trade trades here sometimes you will have your auto trade dismissing some movement in the market this is the technology on 2022 you cannot bring moving average and you're gonna go against someone have more advanced tools so this is not a, I mean it makes different you know what car you're driving I mean you cannot get a Pinto sitting in a red light and you have a Ferrari sitting in a red light and you're gonna smoke him it's impossible so get educated what you are doing and not an auto trade is an auto trade you know so if you, again to show you how the auto trade can extend the target and can start chasing the market on behalf of you you see is if this market a trend then is going to extend the target you don't have to lift a finger if the market start pulling back the target is going to chase the market it's not going to extend 
and it is when it comes into the target it will be like a cat and mouth chasing each other to maximize the profit the secret here is when you have a good winning trade you should grab it to the last crumb on the table and you should not let it go sadly what I have seen a lot of amateur trading they tied up the trading stop on any system because they wanted immediate cash in to recover their losses what happened when they are doing this they are just selling their winning trade uh, for a hundred dollar two hundred dollars a hundred dollar two hundred dollars should not get you out of bed you should not sit behind computers for a hundred or two hundred dollars so when I'm right in the trade that sometimes sometimes an auto trade cannot do it on behalf of you when you are right on the trade this is where is your knowledge come in your experience to extend your profit as much as it could be because you don't know when the next trade is going to bring you can it bring you disaster or it can it bring you another winning trade we don't know no one knows so when we are trained enough to read and maximize our profit we can milk one trade to take 1,000, 2,000, depends on the market movement. Let's say this market is in the plus $100, $200. For me personally, I will break even a plus one tick. I will not bail out on a trade for $100 or $200. I will break even plus one tick to give the commission to the broker but I will not sell a good trade. It's crime to sell a good trade for $200. You're right. You need to get rewarded. You need to get paid because you're right. This is the name of the game in the trading. So when I'm right, I want to take as much as I can out of, out of the table and if I can take the crumbs away from those disaster traders or amateur traders, those are the ones that are most making noises in the market. Everybody mistreated them, you know. And if I can take those crumbs from those small traders, I will take it. I don't feel sorry for them. So when you are trading, you want to maximize your profit, efficiency, maximize the profit and stop trading and the, the the last one stop trading is the most important because the more you expose yourself to the market the more you are in danger the less trade you take in the market the better person you are because you are protecting your profit I don't like auto trade keep taking a trade I like it to be efficient I prefer to have an auto trade taking one or two trade a good one or two trades than be all over the place sitting miserably behind a computer eight hours a day that is not healthy for you for your brain for your health for your family because it's depressing sitting behind a computer eight hours a day I have to sit behind the computer 16 hours a day to to cover our clients from Europe to USA to Asia but as a person as a person by himself you have this pleasure to put 100 percent three hours a day four hours a day effective than to be sitting eight hours miserably behind the computer just looking at the sky and looking at PNL. So this one here we covered uh, uh, on Monday how we can approach uh, the, the bigger time frame and 
what I have said on Monday, we have ATRs on uh, our auto trade. We do. M millions of them. We have uh, MACDs. Tons of them. But when we did this on Monday, uh, and we teach our clients, we I specifically said, if you want to play a big game on the market, there is only out of the 15 auto trades we have, there is only one entry can do the tricks on a, this kind of high time frame, the ones is going to play this big fish. The principle in here, when you are aiming $5,000 a day, $6,000 a day, $7,000, $3,000, dollars a day, the, the principle behind that is not the trade here, P&L. The secret behind that is the, the accuracy of the stop loss, the cost of the stop loss has to be efficient based on the market movement, not some kind of dummy training stop and stop loss. Because now we are talking about 400 ticks and five. That's what I have seen somebody trying to copy this and put in 500 ticks stop loss on an ES. You don't do that. You're killing this trader. The secret here is to survive until this market break out and give us the spike. So when we, on our luck, what I wanted is to survive this nightmare here, and it will be losses in here. Let's say you lost $1,000 on those trades. Let's maximize the losses on this, okay? I can survive this $1,000 and wait in on a nice trend. I lost that $1,000 today, but I nailed $3,000 today. I don't wanna talk about 7,000. I wanna say, doing this market is, is uh, it was flat. I lost, let's say $500 and I made $3,000 when the market spiked. So I'm good enough with that. Once this market spiked and I hit nice trend, big ticks, you need to stop the auto trade. I don't know when it will happen. I don't know if it will happen at 9.30. I have no idea tomorrow if it's gonna happen one hour before closing time. I have no clue. No one has a clue. No indication, no indicator is gonna tell you what is going to happen tomorrow until you open your Ninja Trader in the morning. So what it is, so the market is spiked and then you get it. So this is the bigger picture uh, for the swing trading and we covered that uh, uh, on Monday. And I specifically said, especially for those ones that want to go back to it, this is the only entry you can play big boy. Any other entry to catch those big fish and the minute you start using a stop loss, you're a dead meat. Because your stop loss is expensive making you survive until the spikes come in. So this is something so now we are finished with this one here. We're going to put it out of the way. And uh, we are uh, going to cover the another, which I love that auto trade. It's been a very good auto trade, very consistent. I have, uh, we have one client from Asian. Uh, today he was talking to me. He's a, I mean, he's a nice guy, everything, but he's a, a beginner trader. When we introduced, uh, when we showed around the Christmas because it was no movement in the market, and then our auto trades can take those high frequency on the low time frame, 28 second, 10 second. They can, because they are not a dummy indicator, and and uh, if you are using on a, a dummy indicator, or if you have an auto trade, try to use 10 second or 20 second on your uh, auto trade, immediately will flag out in red. Because it's, it's taking every movement, and if there is a volatility, your auto trade will fail immediately.
But this one here, the precision auto trade is trading with the trend and taking reversals. That's a total different game. And then can go in between, space out when it's not right. At the same time, this precision auto trade does not have any filter. It's taking the filter, it does not require any filter, it's only one entry. There is one filter in it, but nobody uses it. I don't use it either. So we show the same charts every single day on the precision auto trade. It's the same chart, the ES 170 takes, the ES uh, 28 seconds, the ES 3 minutes. And I want to start showing the first wave on it. And this is what we have showed yesterday, also the ES 170 take. It's a very consistent, very good auto trade. And took one trade, two trade, it was done around 10 o'clock. This is very normal, this is what I like. I like to see everything done around 11, 11.30. On the 28 seconds, what really saved us today is the reversal and then nailed 1,000. One entry, one exit, 1,000, get it over with, done. The, the ES, this is the second round today on the ES, three minutes. And, and uh, the second round nailed 16.50. On the ES two minute, and look, look, it's the same auto trade, the same auto trade. Just because there is one minute different, it makes a lot of difference. Does not mean if the two minutes today made three thousand seven hundred. Tomorrow I'll jump on the wagon with the two minutes because today, the the the, the two minutes made the three thousand seven hundred and the three minutes made 1,650. So tomorrow I'm gonna jump on, on the two minutes. This is a wrong thinking because you're not thinking. The reason is the two minutes today did better than the three minutes, not because of the time frame, because of the two minutes condition and the market is moving. It move fits with the auto trade like a gloves and the two minutes took the trade on a reversal where implement with the two minutes and they come in like a gloves today because of the market movement and that what spiked the two minutes. So this is very important when, when an auto trader, the reason I'm showing those two together, don't change the middle of your trade or don't change your habit on a daily basis because today to today the two minutes did well i'm going to jump tomorrow on two minutes the cl tomorrow the four minutes made ten thousand i want to go on the cl and then the dax another day and you keep jumping and you are confused today the 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 es made the three thousand on the two minutes it could be tomorrow you change strategy and you jump from three minutes to two minutes and it could be the two minutes tomorrow is going to make 1000 or lose 1000 and the three minutes is going to make maybe 3000 i don't know what has happened tomorrow so don't chase wild goose in the market and don't jump from one place to another to another to another that is going to confuse you then what we do, if you are in that situation, you want to study the two minutes. Why this two minutes? How this market approach, how the auto trade approach the two minutes? Why the three minutes made less? I'll keep my eye on both of them for the next three days to see which one is really working for me. And then I will decide on Monday or Tuesday next week to either jump in here or jump in here. But do not take action just because today this auto trade more, made more money. Don't take an action because the NASDAQ today and the room today on the other channel made over 8,000, then in the afternoon made 7,000 something. It could be tomorrow the ES. It could be tomorrow the, the, the Russell. It could be tomorrow the CL, not, not the NASDAQ. Maybe tomorrow you will not make money on the NASDAQ. It's not a wash machine. It's going to do the same thing every day because the market is different every day. So this is my advice to you to be consistent and taking 
the trying to observe what happened and don't jump from one land to another don't jump from one chart to another because then you're gonna confuse yourself is it two minutes is it three minutes is it five minutes so now i got those two and three minutes locked in i will stay on those two three minutes and keep my eye on them before i make my final decision at the end of this week because anything you want to test it takes a thousand rate you cannot just draw conclusion by yourself within a couple minutes so uh, again, uh, this is one here is 1,650. It's the same auto trade three minutes, but this one is a different account. It's 1,300 and it's a different approach. CL 22nd, as you see, the CL 22nd took a lot of trade, but finally it did it and it made this 1,000. On the NASDAQ, three minutes today. Uh, this one here is in the scalping mood. It's not in the swing trading mood. And uh, it uh, did eleven hundred uh, and seventy-five. Uh, we can uh, bring some more if we want to see some more on this. I think we took too long. Uh, on the CL twelve range, this is a very serious uh, time frame. The twelve range, and uh, made the twenty-two ninety. And if we look at uh, how this CL took those trades today, also this one here in the scalping mood. And again, if we want to examine how from the past and uh, see how many losing trade and winning trade, you can see your your winning trades are much greater than the losing trades is there is one or two losing trade in there and the rest that were winning trade that can satisfy me i don't care about uh, the amount or the pnl i don't care if this one make a hundred dollars if the winning trades are much greater than the losing trade i'm a happy camper because even if I'm saying I want a thousand dollar today, plus or minus one thousand, target hit plus one thousand or minus one thousand, and if I see this auto trade is struggling and I'm up to six seven hundred dollars, and I can see that there is many trades the auto trade is taking, you know what? You say I call it off. I'm done for today. Tomorrow, I will live another day to pick up my own fight in the market. Don't ever, please gentlemen, don't ever chase the market. Let the market comes to you. You stay in charge in the market. You stay on your standard and don't get scared you're gonna miss a trend. You miss a trend, so what? Welcome to trading. You miss the trend, so what? Live with it. You have a bad day welcome to trade it you know so it happened it's finished let's survive another day let's go ahead and dance with the gorilla tomorrow in the rain so uh, agreed is not good and uh, let me show you another uh, a chart on the nasdaq Uh, this one here is 1800 and uh, we have the YM also today uh, lately the YM is doing very well today it was crazy the YM was against uh, the ES and against the Nasdaq and thus it was very unusual uh, for the YM to go uh, crisscross ES and it was really this one is the scalping mood as well seven range medium size and it did very well also and then we have um i'm not gonna bring them all down i'm gonna just show you the smaller frequency the smaller uh this is again this is um 
30 seconds, this is really good. And uh, we had those Asian people because in Asia, when, when um, the market closed, when the Asians start trading, so there is not much movement in the market. So this is a really perfect when you have a smaller time frame. And then if, I don't care, it made 1875, could be tomorrow banana, there is nothing. And it could be double the amount. I don't know what will bring tomorrow, but it's not about the PNL. It is about the market started around nine, uh, the auto trade started around 920. And it was done by 1057. Then what I want, and this is what I want to look at, it's not the PNL. Again, it could be tomorrow banana, there is nothing. And it could be tomorrow 1,000, it could be nothing. It could be down 1,000. I don't know what will happen tomorrow. But when I'm looking at this chart, I can see there is one trade, two trade, three, four, five. Out of a five trade, I have one losing trade. This is a good auto trade. So, how much is going to make me tomorrow? Nobody knows. It's like Las Vegas here, when you are trading. If I know how much I will be making tomorrow, nobody knows how, what, from one minute to another, what will happen, because the market always surprises us. And, um, and uh, we'll take one opening position. And uh, this is something, uh, I don't show that, but uh, let me tell you a little bit about the 30-year Treasury bond. The 30-year Treasury bond is a very stable movement. It's like a tank on the floor, on the ground. Uh, uh, the majority of the, especially beginners, they go with the ES. And, and it is good because you have the micro ES. So if somebody want to make a lot of mistake is a great idea to go with a micro account ES. So if he screw up somewhere, his losses at the end of the day is $50, nothing to cry over. But then once you start getting comfortable with your trade or you start knowing what you're doing, the 30 year treasury bond on three minutes, this is a very logic chart, not rank a bar or something called line break, whatever that is something you can be connected to visually as a manual trader. You need to look at the chart, the one you can really, you say, I want to manual trade it, but you don't have to manual trade it. But we need to look at it to see where is this market action is going on. And yet you let the auto trade take in the trade, the trading stop, the stop loss. The 30 year treasury bond is a great idea for people when they start getting comfortable with the auto trades because it doesn't doesn't jump like the rest of the market. And most of the noises comes in from those small traders, young, amateur and experienced traders. They don't trade the 30 year treasury bond. They are trading ES, NASDAQ. But once you start getting your your wings, uh, now you start examining the 30-year treasury bond, and then you can see how stable the movement uh, and the prediction on it is very, um, especially, you know, it, take, it gives you time to recalculate your situation in the market with the NASDAQ become right now you can see the difference if you've been trading for a long time now the Nasdaq uh, don't even give you time to breathe even if you want to grab a cup of coffee you know the Nasdaq can bite you if you, if you just want to go for coffee so the Nasdaq become a very fast and sometimes a human to observe what's going on is too late in the market so the ES 30-year Treasury bond if you put them together, they go against each other. One goes long and one goes short, but they can predict each other. So this is something you need to recalculate, and uh, which we have covered this in our education life on the YouTube, on the other channel, how you can let those two combine in each other and they can predict each other using them to your own benefits. 
when you are trading or you are, when you are auto trading you can start see the warning before it happened because as a trader you have to predict before it happened as i said the timing you know guys i'm not gonna keep talking because i think i killed a lot of time i'm just gonna show some snapshot on uh, on another auto trade called the ti7 and uh, if you give me one second I'm not uh, going to uh, take a lot of time from you uh, Nasdaq five minutes 1420 uh, Russell six range uh, Nasdaq four minutes scalping Nasdaq 38 second scalping uh, CL nine range uh, ES one minute this is a statement ES one minute because most of the auto trader try on your auto trade uh, try to use one minute and see how disaster your auto trade once the auto trade cannot be traded on one minute you it's done no use to use any more time on that auto trade that's why you see a lot of people using line break ranker bar they are refuge to some delusion because they cannot face the reality that the chart here is in minutes it's not a ranker bar and to cover their their handicap on this auto trade they use all kind of weird time frame because their auto trade cannot function in one minute any indicator or auto trade cannot function in one minute what they do they go on a rank bar or on a line break or something like this is a delusion walking away from the reality of the market movement so you cannot see what happened really because the Renko are fake we have Renko bars and we will cover Renko bars what we use them for but uh, the one minute on an auto trade is a statement an indicator on one minute is a statement and the rest is garbage if the auto trade works on one minute it can work on any given time frame but not every auto trade will work on one minute so be careful guys don't get fooled by those ranker bars and all this because they are fake numbers and um, they try to delude you with the corner of here thousands of dollars which we have showed you that those numbers are not realistic and they're not real the minute you let this chart run for one day you don't see thousands of dollars what you see minus thousands of dollars but when you right a click which we have showed that on a ranker bar when you right a click on the chart everything because the bars move and you start having wrong reading when you try to optimize ranker bar it gives you profit factor six and seven and eight but in the reality you go down to the optimization it says it takes you 25 days recovery on one bad day good luck trading 25 days and not having a losing day so in those 25 days recovery if you lose another day that's 50 days you need to work without any losing trades in order to recover your losses on two losing days so be careful what you are looking for here uh, five minutes es uh, ES four minutes, DAX four minutes. We use DAX all the time. Uh, we have a couple of chart DAX. That's all. And ES fourteen second, folks. That's all what we have. Uh, and uh, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you uh, on the other channel live on Thursday. Thank you very much. God bless you all. And I wish you a pleasant evening. Bye for now.